Hello, Prospect Panthers. My name is Molly Ingram, and I'm your Regional Admissions Counselor for the University of Arizona. I wanted to start this video by saying that while I'm sad that we can't meet in person due to the shelter-in-place situation, that I'm extremely grateful that Amy Bencomo, Prospect High's College and Career Center Specialist, has provided me with this opportunity to connect with you all via video. Uh, so let's get started talking about the University of Arizona. The University of Arizona is a Tier 1 public research university located in Tucson, and not only are we Arizona's first university, having been founded before Arizona was even a state, but we are also Arizona and the Pac-12's only Best Buy University. Uh, so this is a designation that we have received for providing a great quality education for the cost. Here you can see a little bit of our beautiful one square mile campus, and on that one square mile campus we have a little over 35,000 undergraduate students who are coming from all 50 states as well as 120 different countries. While approximately 55% of our students are Arizona residents, about 5,000 of our 35,000 students are coming from the state of California. Uh, so you will definitely meet people from the Bay Area, Sacramento, and SoCal, as well as students from all over the world. In fact, one student from Prospect High who graduated last year is a current student at the University of Arizona, and many seniors at Prospect High this year have already been admitted to the U of A for fall 2020. Despite the fact that we are a fairly large university, we do have a really great student to faculty ratio of 15 to 1, uh, so we have plenty of professors on campus to accommodate our student body size. Typically, students come to the University of Arizona for the five following programs that we are most well known for. Um, these programs would be architecture, engineering, which we have 15 different kinds of, nursing, business, and the College of Fine Arts. Um, however, as you can see by this slide, we have hundreds of academic programs for our students to pursue. Um, other fun facts, we do have uh, a law school, a med school, we have many graduate programs um, such as architecture, and we are also the first public vet school in the state of Arizona. Now, you might be wondering what kinds of activities are available for students at Arizona outside of the classroom. Um, and these opportunities are virtually endless because all of our clubs and organizations are student created. Uh, so if there's a club that we don't have and you want, you can create it and leave your legacy at Arizona. Um, many of our popular activities on campus do include Greek life, so we have fraternities and sororities, student government, and our student government, fun fact, hosts the nation's largest student-run carnival, Spring Fling, and Zona Zoo, which is what we call our student cheering section for our Division I Pac-12 sports, which you can see here. Now, we want our students to have fun, but we also want our students to be successful academically, so there are a lot of different academic resources on campus. Uh, Think Tank is what we call our tutoring centers. We also have the Thrive Center, and in 2021, we are going to have a brand new remodeled student success district. Um, in addition to these really great resources, something that we are very proud of is our SALT Center. Uh, SALT is an acronym that stands for Strategic Alternative Learning learning techniques, and this is a program for students with learning and attention differences who might want an extra layer of uh, individualized academic support in the form of a learning specialist uh, through the SALT Center program. So, uh, when students aren't in class, studying, or attending on-campus events, many students like to take advantage of everything that Tucson as a city has to offer. Uh, Tucson is Arizona's second largest city, and we get about 350 days of sunshine. Despite the fact that some people think that Arizona is sweltering hot all year round, our average annual temperature is only 83 degrees. Um, so it's a very pleasant place to be, especially in the winter if you're looking to go to a school where you could wear shorts and a t-shirt and not be cold in the month of January or February. 
Uh, downtown Tucson is only a quick streetcar away from campus, and it is home to several really great restaurants, shops, boutiques, um, and if you love Mexican food, Tucson is home to the nation's best 23 miles of Mexican food. Every time I'm in town, I like to try a new restaurant, and recently I tried vegan Mexican food, which was really delicious, and located in downtown area of Tucson. Okay, so let's talk about the application process now. The University of Arizona utilizes rolling admissions, meaning that your admissions decision is dependent upon when you turn your application into the university. We are available on the Common Application, the Coalition Application, or you can apply directly on our website, admissions.arizona.edu. On the application, you will self-report your grades and tell us what you are currently enrolled in as a senior, tell us about your extracurricular activities, whether these are things that you're involved in at Prospect High, something that you do in your community, or it could just be a hobby of yours. Um, we want to know more about you besides just your grades, which is why we ask for those extracurriculars. Uh, we do not require an essay, we do not require letters of recommendation, and we are test optional for many of our majors, uh, so it is possible to be admitted to the university without having submitted an SAT or ACT test score. However, if you do have an SAT or ACT test score and you're applying to one of our non-selective majors that does not require it, I highly submit, highly recommend that you submit it to us anyways uh, because we do have some really great out-of-state scholarships called the Arizona Tuition Award. Um, that ranges in value from $2,000 to $35,000 per year and it is based on your unweighted six-semester core GPA paired with your ACT or SAT test score from a single sitting. In addition to this scholarship, 85% of our students do receive some form of financial aid, whether it's a grant, a loan, a scholarship, or some combination of the three, and we also have a tuition guarantee. So the price that you pay for tuition as a freshman is the same price that you're going to be locked into for four consecutive years. Now, in addition to our main campus application, we do have a separate application for our Honors College. Um, and as you can see, the criteria does differ. Uh, so Honors College applications do require one essay question, one letter of recommendation, and they do require you to submit test scores, even if you were planning on majoring in something that does not require them for our main campus application. Now, sadly, at this time, uh, the CDC recommendations uh, related to large gatherings and an abundance of care for you and your family and for our Wildcat family, um, all informational sessions, campus tours, Arizona Experience programs, and Admitted Student Day have been suspended or canceled for the remainder of the spring 2020 semester. Um, however, we do have some really great opportunities for you to connect with the university virtually on the webpage listed here. Here. And here you can take a virtual tour of campus and you can watch other videos about highlighting popular spots on campus. Um, and as always, uh, my job is to be here for you as prospective Wildcats and to help guide you through the application process. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to contact me via email or phone, or if you'd like to set up a time to video chat, we can arrange that as well. Uh, thank you for watching and go Wildcats!